disjointed because you know we were just throwing things together off of emails and whatnot, so it was kind of a mess. But uh, a guy was there, and he offered to help me put up a uh, put together a PowerPoint. And uh, when you say PowerPoint, yeah, that means Windows. <laughs> but in this case, he he had Office uh, Open Office and Press. That's what I had. So hopefully they make it happen. Um, so. <coughs> So anyway, I called Dan about being able to speak here, and I really appreciate the opportunity and hope it works out. Um, <clears throat> so, just uh, the uh, kind of the saga. I'll just start into that uh, a little bit. Elaine encouraged me to, uh, you know, what's the most important thing you got to say? Well, it's so cumulative, you know. Like, the Lord showed me this. The Lord showed me this. The Lord showed me that. I saw this, the Bible says this, and then I, so I realized, you know, the most important thing is, you know, is God. You know, what God's doing, what God has been doing for decades, years, decades, centuries, and millennia. Because this all goes back to what we're going to see, and I'm going to start with an opening statement that um, kind of tells, uh, it's, it's what the position I've come to, you know, in a nutshell, that that's what, this is what I see, you know, about the Ozark Plateau. But um, so it's been a, it's been a, a, a continual saga. And when we were here, um, I was at the uh, concert. I asked Dan if he'd heard of uh, uh, Johnny Harrell, and of course, you know, he had. When I was still in Denver, I, and I don't know if it was at this, to this day, if it was uh, one of my first clues about this whole thing was I made a phone call. Somebody gave me a phone number. I don't know how I got it. Um, and I either probably either talked to Colonel Jack Moore, but I may have talked to Johnny Harrell. I you know, no way to verify. But they told me that um, he told me that you know we need to be in the breadbasket of America, and their designation was a Scotts Bluff to Lubbock, Texas, Atlanta, Georgia, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm. And and he said how big that area ends up being will depend on how many good people come within that area. And so you're going to have encroachment from the <coughs> cold and flat, and northeast uh, flat and cold, and uh, something that who would have ever foreseen being invaded by Muslims. Southeast, of course, you know, primarily black, southwest being virtually taken over, it has been taken over by um, the uh, Hispanics. And, uh, and I, I read, I have told probably a thousand people. No, more than that, and I'm capping off the times I've written it. You know, tens of thousands of people that read Civil War II, you know, you gave me that book many years ago. Yeah. And, you know, the many things that he predicted in there, Tom Chittum, um, have come to pass far earlier than what he predicted. <coughs> and then he, uh, one thing he didn't see, and who would have seen, you know, Muslims from desert countries, you know, hot desert countries taking over our North of the States, you know, many Somalia, Minnesota, Minnesota. <laughs> and I and then I added Michigan, Iran, and, and Wisconsin, and you know, mm. those states are, are being taken over by Sharia law. Uh, just, just a, a, a monkey wrench in the, in the whole deal. So, um, but that there's a document that that map of. Scotts Bluff, Lubbock, Atlanta, Pittsburgh, uh, that I found in 1999. Um, we were running expos, we had moved to Kansas, and that 18-page um, document called Geological Assessment of American Survival. And so that started, you know, keying in and um, clarifying more thinking, crystallizing my thinking. <clears throat> and uh, just a lot of really, really good points in that booklet. Um, had a large map of uh, the big triangle, and hey, I got a chalk over there. Um, that'll be better. That is awesome. <laughs> oh my. I've got a little one, and it's been beat to pieces over the years. Oh my gosh. Um, so, this map was uh, we started about here, had a large triangle going up there. And over to here, okay. Yeah. And later, just just in the last year, a 
lady from, I don't know where, sent a map exactly like it, but with a lot of additional notes to a man that runs a website called Arcaven Ministries, and he posts my literature on there. In fact, I just I did met a couple at another tabernacle gathering, and, and ladies, I mentioned that, uh, well, I've, the guy moved from L.A., happened to, managed to sell his house in L.A., and uh, moved here. I said, man, that's great. I, I love hearing stories like that. They, they thrill me, they excite me. Um, and they, I said, because I, I've seen for 15 years, my, my call has been to, you know, pull within this area. So, this man, um, he said, well, but his wife, yeah, his wife goes, I've seen that, you're mad. You know? I mean, she had been on our cave ministry and recognized my name and seen the map that I had come up with. I took a, a four state uh, and pasted it together um, so that you, you actually see the Ozark Plateau in county, county by county. And so there's about three or four, maybe five counties, all are part of counties here of 120, 100, 100 120 mile radius of Springfield. And when I said that, she went, oh, I've seen that map. <laughs> and so 12, 12 to 16 counties down here, 40, 45 counties in Missouri, and about five, six, seven in Kansas. And what that defines is the Ozark Plateau and the Ozark aquifer systems. So you have, um, you can see this is kind of a, on Google Earth, this stands out like a sore thumb. You can go 300 to 500 miles out, you know, and draw back into space, or even out to 20,000 miles. You can still see the Ozark Plateau from 20,000 miles, as if you're on the you know, space shuttle. And it shows up as a bright green diamond. I mean, it's just like a parallelogram. You can see like here, down to here, down to here, uh, geometrically perfect in, in, on Google Earth, green equilateral triangle, which means 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degree angles. And then the other end is kind of rounded off because of the Missouri and the Mississippi rivers. So I, I think that that creation, it was perfect island. Um, and it's, a, it's, a, it's an island. It, it, geologically, it has been Geologists say that for you know 200 million years it was an island. That there's actually a coral reef around it. Now God created it that way, whatever. But it is um, a Wikipedia says it is a single dome. Okay, it's a, it's a dome, and the peak is the St. Francis Mountains, or St. Francis Walk, whatever. The St. Francis Mountains. Um, so. You know, that, that map that then recently that I was referring to that was in this geological assessment, um, just last year this lady sent it to Ken up to Grove. He sent it to me and said, you know, you know anything about this map? And I was just like, wow. I have, after all these years, we moved in 97, so sometime between.